Hey guys, my name is Jesper Nissen, and in this video, I'm going to talk to you about the state of SEO as it stands here in late 2024. And I'm going to talk about uh, these three topics, on-page SEO, schema, and backlinks. And I'm going to explain to you what weight you should give these three parts in order to get actual results of your SEO efforts. So over the last couple of years, Google has uh, updated uh, their uh, algorithms from a shift of you know, uh, importance, the importance of backlinks, the weighting of backlinks uh, as it pertains to your rankings. And now they, uh, they have seemed to be shifted over to its on-page SEO that you need to get correct. And uh, a little bit of historical background. The reason that we have seen this shift is because, of course, of two factors, as I see it. So uh, one factor, of course, being uh, the rise of AI-driven content. So uh, when ChatGPT came out two years ago and uh, was made public, uh, we all of a sudden, all of us, we got access to an excellent AI tool that allow us to build AI driven websites, uh, you know, with hundreds and thousands of papers, uh, pages just like that in 10 minutes. <clears throat> and um, if you're being a reasonable search engine producer, uh, you need to address this problem because we did see in the beginning, we did see a flood in the search engine results pages of uh, AI spam and AI crappy articles. So that's just how it is. And uh, so Google is trying their best now to to try and trying to combat this problem by uh, focusing on quality content signals, whatever quality content signals is. But they are trying to kind of like detect what is AI, what is low quality, what doesn't bring anything new to the table, and uh, what is human written, and what does bring quality to the table, and what does bring something new. So they are trying to kind of like uh, put a focus on emphasis on high quality content. And uh, so the, the one factor is AI content, and the other factor is of course, uh, Google or Alphabet is a company, and they are, um, if we go back, you know, two years ago, uh, they were the uh, super duper at the top of their game, uh, the most dominant they have, that they have ever been. And uh, so when you are, you know, a monopoly, you cannot grow anymore. So the only way that they could actually grow their revenue was because of the, uh, the Google ads. And so they, uh, they started to shift to kind of like, from my point of view and from your point of view, kind of like the degrade the search engine results pages because uh, now they tend to favor the uh, Google ads more and more and more to bring out more and more revenue from these paid ads, both in the organic research results and in the Google Maps search results. And uh, from an SEO expert point of view or SEO uh, you know, practitioner point of view, uh, this uh, eventually, uh, it has led to a degradation of the quality of the search engine results pages. So, uh, and that's just uh, it is how it is. And that's just uh, the world that we live in. And that's why we're seeing the, um, the uh, amount of traffic that we're gaining from Google is going down. And the amount of traffic that we're getting from Bing and other search engines is going slightly up now. So um, yeah, so that's another, that's an, a talk for another day that is, so if Google doesn't fix this, of course they will continue to go down and Bing and the other guys will continue to go up. Especially also if OpenAI actually has, has actually success with the coming out with their uh, search GPT. So um, what do you need to do? Well, you need to focus on the on-page SEO. So if we roll back time, let's say four years ago, four or five years ago, no matter how crappy the content was on a page, I could rank it, could rank it with backlinks especially when we had the Twitter moments and stuff like that, you know, the more kind of like manipulatory link uh, building schemes. We could, I could, and we could rank uh, pages uh, exclusively almost only because of the backlinking uh, schemes that we uh, could use way back then, four or five years ago. And now tables have turned. Now it seems that the same kind of boost that you could see with backlinks backlinks back then, you actually now see with on-page SEO twists and optimizations. So uh, it seems like they have actually turned the table around. So now it's on-page first and then backlinks. 
the algorithm still relies heavily on backlinks. I'm not saying that backlinks doesn't work. I'm just saying that you need to get your own page SEO correctly. Otherwise it will seem like, let me go to the next slide. So if you don't get the on page correct, then the schema and the links you're adding to the page will seem to be not working. That's what I'm seeing. And I've, I, I am building new domains. I'm not saying daily, but weekly I'm building new websites just to test this. I'm building a blog post weekly on my new affiliate websites. So what I'm seeing extremely clearly that if you don't get your on page SEO correct, if you don't get quality content, put quality content in these blog posts, the schema and the backlinks that I add, they seem to be not working. So that's just uh, that's just how it is. And let me show you actually, uh, I talked about this before, the top seofactors.com website. Let's go over to here, it is. Top SEO Factors. So uh, Top SEO Factors is a website by a guy called Ted Kubaitis, and I uh, made a video about this last month, I think. So uh, he is um, sharing his uh, data from uh, his hundreds or maybe thousands of users of his uh, advanced on-page SEO software called Cora. So uh, what you're seeing here is the Top SEO Factors as it stands here in November 2024. And uh, so it's, it's an accumulation of all of the users that is using his software. They are contri contributing to, uh, to this table. So he's, um, yeah, so he's sharing these, um, these factors. And what we can see here is very interesting. If we skip over the factors that we can change, as you, as you see, I see the, the, the number one ranking factor is search result domain is .com, .net, or .org. I can't use that for anything unless I'm making a new domain. Number three, search result is .com. I can't use that. Of course, you can't change that for an existing website. So if you just, you know, skip these factors that for obvious reasons you can't use, uh, then, then, then let's focus on, on the ones that you can change. So number two here, number of unique LSI words, number of distinct entities, number of unique variations, variations in body tags, variations in HTML tags, um, and then here at number nine, number of referring domains, and then he has these diversity factors, and then number of backlinks, variations, entities, number of factors, entities, variations, 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 and so on and so forth. So, so what you're seeing here is that uh, you need to put entities into your content. You need to put variations of the search term that you're trying to rank for into your content. And uh, currently, and this has been, it's, it's not a new development. It's been like this for years and years now. So it's just uh, Google is trying to, to um, I would say Google is trying to, to shut down people like well, me that's teaching, you know, I wouldn't say black hat issue because I, I'm, I'm just, you know, building links, but uh, it is, it can be seen as against, of course, Google terms of service. If you're building links in order to manipulate your search uh, rankings, then it's against their terms of service. If you're only building links to not manipulate anything, to not improve rankings, then it's not against their terms of service. Google is trying to shut that down and that's why they are putting uh, the major emphasis in their algorithm on the actual language that you're using. So, uh, I will. I want to stop here now because I have a. I have an upcoming video where I will talk about the um, the on-page optimization zones that I use uh, when I optimize blog posts. And um, yeah, so uh, you can look forward to that. So that's the uh, words from uh, me today uh, with regards to the state of SEO late 24. Take care. Have a nice day, guys.